We're here at the construction site of a home being built in Pembroke. There's lots of waste generated from construction, renovation, and demolition projects. Ever wonder what happens to all that waste? Let's visit the Ottawa Valley Waste Recovery Centre to find out. Here we are. All vehicles are weighed in and out to determine how much material is being kept out of landfill. This load of drywall material weighed 2,210 kilograms. The center's construction and demolition disposal area receives separated drywall, clean wood waste, dirty wood waste, shingles and concrete. There's also an area for scrap metal and brush disposal. During the spring, summer and fall, the center can take loads of unsorted construction and demolition material. All the loads are inspected. If they contain about 60% sortable material, we'll get the truck to dump on the paved area and center staff can sort and separate all the material. That might seem like a lot of work, but the Mixed Construction and Demolition Program helps keep almost 400 tons of waste out of our landfill each year. So what happens to all this stuff? Concrete is used as clean fill in road building around the Waste Recovery Center. Shingles and dirty wood, which is wood that is painted, stained or pressure treated, is ground up. They are used as alternative daily cover on our landfill site instead of depleting on-site gravel resources. Drywall is screened to remove the paper, leaving behind gypsum, which is used as a source of calcium sulfur, adding valuable nutrients to your soil. Clean wood waste is ground up and sold as wood mulch. The center's wood mulch is natural in color and great for all your landscaping needs. Since the center opened in 2002, our construction and demolition site has kept more than 30,000 tons out of landfill, significantly extending its lifespan. Visit our website for more information on the proper sorting of construction and demolition materials. Music